This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Gilbert Lacroix with me from the Railway Museum of Eastern Ontario. Everybody knows in Smith Falls that's one of my favorite places to be is mm -hmm. our Railway Museum. So thank you very much for joining us today to talk more Welcome. about it. Let's talk a little bit about you though. How long yeah. have you been with the museum? Or at least five years. Okay. Uh, at volunteering or getting involved in certain projects and uh, so and so many so often people think uh, you know volunteers in terms of coming for events and that sort of stuff you're building things you're fixing trains you're you're building model trains and everything like that that's a lot of time and commitment yeah that's right we have volunteers who basically they're behind the scenes they're not necessarily necessarily there on the days of the events but they help out uh, with the museum in different aspects. Uh, it's not always building or repairing like I do, but it's involving uh, 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 taking care of the collections or, or cleaning or, or uh, maintaining our, our big station. It's a big building. It is, yeah. it's a big building and, and the land around it as well too. Yeah, there, we got nine acres. It's a lot of grass to cut in the summertime. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> and I mean, we, we, your background is construction. Yes. So uh, you've put like new roofs on trains and everything like that uh, on too. The, on the rail cars, yes. And I have another one to do shortly, our dental car. Uh, oh, it needs a new roof? It needs a new roof. Oh it my. still has the original roof. Wow. And it doesn't last forever. And then uh, involved with uh, last year uh, was taking care of the cabooses. Uh, we got a beautiful grant from the, from the federal government, uh, 100 grand roughly. And that is for uh, our, our cabooses and our dining car. In the cabooses, we do overnight stays. Uh, so everything's painted up now and it, it looks real nice. And it also involves uh, a little bit of renovation in our kitchen and our bathrooms, which are used by, the, by our guests who stay overnight in the cabooses. Uh, and then the dining car, it, it needed uh, electrical work in order to uh, uh, because what happens here, like right now, okay, we got a cold day, but in two weeks, we're, we're going to need air conditioning, uh, the way the climate is going. And so we got uh, air conditioning in, uh, in an 1899 dining car. Uh, you, you can't see it whenever you walk in there because the, the ornate ceilings and, and the, 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 uh, the, the, the uh, paneling with the marquetry, but we were able to incorporate air conditioning into it. Wow, and it's amazing. Yeah, the, the, so. the dining car is absolutely beautiful. The cabooses you're talking about, you are Airbnb, so that's people book that for an Airbnb. That's right, mm -hmm. yeah. We yeah. Got, uh, and you're booked probably for the whole season, I'll bet you, if not almost. It, it books up quickly. Uh, it, last year we had over 200 uh, visitor stays in our cabooses during the season, and that helps out the town here with Absolutely. tourism. Absolutely. And yeah. I mean, the events that you put on. Ah, oh my yes, goodness, the they're amazing. <laughs> they're amazing. You could go there and you think you're only there for an hour and you've been there for three or four. That's how I end up. Yeah, Maybe, you, I love you, being there. Yes, uh, uh, our uh, director, executive director, Becky Allen, she arranges it so you're not just having a, a, a train ride in our, one of our cabooses for, for you know half an hour, but you also stick around and there's other things happening inside the station or outside the station. That's right. Uh, we just had Easter Express. They, yes. Uh, yeah. So we had a, a petting zoo and there's uh, uh, a treasure hunt and, and things like that. So this coming year we're going to have other events. We even have Harry Potter uh, event and that's like a, a, a convention because these people they love Harry Potter and they come from all over the place. They come from uh, Montreal and Toronto even. And so again, it helps out uh, the town uh, with tourism. That's right, absolutely. Yep. Now your interest started as model railways. Yes. And there is a train car that you're building a model uh, railway, uh, what was it, 1955? Yes, basically we have a uh, railway coach. It's gonna be 100 years this year. Uh, but we, we uh, it got me involved here at the Railway Museum about five years ago. We cleaned it out and we built a model railway. It's not all complete, but what we're building is Smith's Falls in 1955. 
the, the CN line that crosses through Smith's Falls at that time, so basically from the canal right up to the north end of uh, what's called the interchange, uh, uh, Union Street uh, or Industrial Street, the north end of town mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. Highway 15, and er everything in between. So uh, the uh, uh, Crochochis, uh, uh Cornelius Street, the station, lift bridge, things like that are, are incorporated into this uh, display. Uh, we did research over the years to, to find out what, what, what was happening here in, in Smith's Falls back then. And then we also rely on a survey map that CN made at the time, and a very detailed map that said, you know, even to the point where it even indicates the water barrels on the five-span bridge off of Abbott Street, uh, because back then, there were steam locomotives, they were dropping cinders, mm -hmm. and it falls on the ties of the bridge, and there was barrels there to take out the fire. Wow. So you didn't want to fire on the bridge. That's right. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. So, so much research is going into this. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. And, and this year, the, the group of guys, the modelers, were going to concentrate on the uh, interpretation uh, of that period in history for Smith's Falls. Wow. Wow. So. wow. Well, you're just a jack of all trades <laughs> over there, too, because it, even at the, the Express uh, event, I've seen you at other events, you're the conductor getting all of the children and adults onto the trains and everything like That's that. That's right. So. On a day like that, we have five to nine hundred passengers. Yeah. Uh, so it's a busy day for us uh, as the trains move on our, and, and not everybody knows in Smith's Falls that there's train rides uh, on our little nine acres in town here. Uh, if you had to go on a real train ride, other than a metro in a in a metropolitan city, you'd have to go. You'd have to travel very far. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Ontario, I think the closest is in southern Ontario, and we we have it right here. Right here. Yes. That's right. We yeah. have it right here in Smith Falls. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now you have an event coming up too called Clear Out the Attic. That's on uh, May thirteenth. Can you talk about that? Yes. Well, uh, basically. Uh, it's part of the museum's mandate, besides all the events and things that we, we have going on, is that we, are, we also got to uh, uh, manage uh, railway artifacts or, or history of uh, the railway um, and things that relate to Eastern Ontario. And so we had a volunteer that came forward, a brand new volunteer last, last August. His name is Greg Leach. And he's been helping us uh, sort through our collection again. Uh, it's been done previous years, but there, there was some lapses. And okay, we're back on it now as part of our mandate. Uh, and, and we realized quickly that what well, we got, we got five of these and four of those, and uh, and this item is not related to railway or it's not related to to Eastern Ontario. So we're, we're going to have. Um, a collection sale on May 13th um, whereby we'll sell off items that we don't necessarily need uh, that we can deassess and uh, and it's a little different than your typical uh, yard sale because it's collectible items that if you're into railway or not antiques or or something like that, then uh, this this is be right uh, a good spot for you to visit on that day, uh, and you might just find a treasure that you don't have. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And I, I'm just guessing you probably can answer this question better. Do people donate a lot of things that they they think is railway, or they think that you may need, and yes. maybe you already have it? I, yes, uh, in, in the busy summer summer months. Uh, Weekly, we get donations at the museum of, of uh, their uncle, their grandfather who worked on the railway, passed away, and, and they have these items and, and they, they'd like to donate them, and we're, we're happy to, 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 to take them. Uh, it it complements what we have at the moment, and it helps us at times put together a new display. Uh, following a certain theme. 
Uh, I, I know there's one that we're talking about now is um, how, how the railway has impacted Smith's Falls in a way. So we got uh, a lot of stuff specific for Smith's Falls. Just a matter of, if there's a volunteer who'd like to help out with that, we're welcome to, to meet with them and help out in that respect. Uh, we, we've had uh, put together other displays with lanterns or, or uh, uh, pieces of rail or things like that. So there, it, we, we don't have a full collection yet. So we're always happy to take on more Always items. looking for more, looking for yes. more donations of items that pertain to Railway mu uh, Museum or uh, people themselves that want to help out. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excellent. So on May 13th, this is a clear out the attic is what it's called. And yes. that's going to be held at the museum itself. That's right. You Basically, you uh, we have a discounted admission rate that day of five dollars. Uh, we don't have train rides because we're concentrating on the sale. Right. And uh, you could find your treasure and then uh, uh, after that you're welcome to, to visit the museum if you've never been uh, to, to the museum itself or, or been uh, visit uh, the museum lately so excellent excellent and if you have been there many times like myself <laughs> yes. it's always nice to go back yes and it we're, it's not just ourselves that we're, we're going to have 10 tables mm -hmm. but we we also invited other vendors who are uh, collectors uh, and uh, of model railroad uh, memorabilia uh, or, or uh, railroading memorabilia memorabilia mm -hmm. so uh, That'd be a handful of vendors, so that adds uh, another 15 tables besides the 10 that we, we have set aside for ourselves. Wow, wow. it's yeah. going to be a great day. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. So if anybody's doing some treasure hunting with railway uh, items, uh, that's the place to be. Yes. That's right. May 13th, and that's at the Railway Museum. It starts at 10 o'clock? Yeah, about right. 10 o'clock, yes. Starts we'll open the the doors at that time. Oh, yes. I thank you for being here today and telling us about it, but I thank you for being part of our Railway Museum, one of the best places to be in Smith Falls. You're uh, welcome. Be it the uh, a conductor, a constructor, uh, whatever <laughs> you do, you do all sorts of stuff thank there. You. Thank you very much for being there. Gilbert Lacroix from the Railway Museum of Eastern Ontario. Thank you.